Snake Eyes and, and Storm Shadow are the, you know, uh, the brother fantasy uh, and, and the loyalty fantasy and, and, and all that rolled into one. You know, they, um, you know, uh, I didn't really have a handle on Snake Eyes until they introduced Storm Shadow. When they brought in Storm Shadow, uh, I realized, oh, this is the only Asian character in the entire G.I. Joe universe, and he's a bad guy. And I said, well, I didn't particularly like that. <laughs> and uh, so I, I was trying to figure out what I could possibly do about that. So I decided, okay, I'll... I won't tell Hasbro, but I'll just change him into a good guy over the course of a year in, within the storyline. And uh, in order to do that, I had to establish this relationship between the two characters. And um, so in, in the very first time that they meet in um, issue number 21, which is a silent issue, uh, I got to the middle of the story and they're fighting and both of their sleeves get torn. And um, I thought, wow, well, what, can I, I can, what can I do with that? And I thought, I'll give them the same tattoo. <laughs> uh, and I thought, well, well it, it should be something that I can remember. Right? So I chose uh, hexagram 63 of the I Ching, which is the, the uh, ancient Chinese book of changes, which was used uh, for fortune telling in China for like 2,500 years or something. Um, and um, uh, it was a uh, hexagram was like alternating broken and solid lines. Uh, had no idea why they both had it <laughs> or what it signified or anything. I just put this symbol on, on their arms. And then four issues later, I had to figure out why. And I, that's when I, re, I, I decided, okay, they, it's, it's the sigil of a, of a ninja clan. It's, it's the Mon, you know. And that they somehow had both come up through this ninja clan. And then I thought, well, how, how do I set that up? And then I came up with the backstory about them being in the war together and uh, comrades. And... Snake Eyes has this horrible tragedy, and um, uh, Storm Shadow takes him into the into the clan. When I, when I read the the, the script, uh, I was very gratified to see that a lot of the uh, the core stuff about the characters and who they are and and how they interact and uh, the integral core fantasy of that relationship uh, was intact and um, I, um, and from what I've seen I think you know Robert is um, uh, really sticking to that so it's, it's very good.